Hi there, my name is Beth Ann Eckerly and I am Director of Communications for Emma County, Michigan. I've lived in Emmett County for the past 20 years, and so while I pretty much consider myself a local now, there are many, many generations of folks who have lived here all of their lives, and for many good reasons. We tried to come up with a way, a fun way, to show you all the wonderful things about Emmett County in Northwest Michigan. It is truly one of the most beautiful, special places on earth. Because I have twin sons attending one of our highly acclaimed local school districts, I'm going to borrow a fun idea from them to teach you about this place that we love. So here is Emmett County from A to Z. We're gonna start with A. A is for Lanson, a tiny little town with a very big heart, nearly in the middle of our county and home to a most scenic stretch of the winding and picturesque inland waterway. The town even has its own beautification committee. Its claim to fame, having the shortest swing bridge in the world. B is for Bay Harbor, which is celebrating 20 years on the shores of Little Traverse Bay. This opulent resort community was once an old cement factory. You'd hardly guess that by looking at the amazing homes, unique shopping district, and the tantalizing restaurants that mark the community today. C is for Camp Petasiga, a family campground on Pickerel Lake that is owned and operated by Emmett County. Camp Petasiga is a favorite campground for locals and our out-of-town visitors. Within its acres is the scenic Cedar Creek, and we have 90 campsites for tents and RVs. Camp Petasiga was originally named for Badosage, an Adawa born and named after the rising sun in 1787. Today, Badosage's name is kept alive through the region as Petoskey and Petasiga. D. D is for our dark sky park, the Headlands, in Mackinac City. This 600-acre parcel was designated an International Dark Sky Park, one of just seven in the United States by the International Dark Sky Association in Tucson, Arizona back in May 2011. What does that mean? It means thousands of visitors flock here each year to take part in Emmett County's free monthly dark sky park programs and to view the undiluted night sky in all of its celestial glory. These folks know that when they arrive to look through their telescopes or to lie on their backs to gaze upward, that they'll see a sky devoid of light pollution and instead alive with stars, planets, the aurora borealis, and the circumpolar constellation. Thanks to Emmett County, it will always stay that way. E is for Emmett County, of course, which was officially organized in 1853. It was first named Tonadagana County in 1840, which paid homage to our Native American roots. Two years later, however, it was named after Irish patriot Robert Emmett, a move initiated by settlers and a trend that was popular at that time in Michigan and the Midwest. Today, Emmett County has 32,000 year-round residents, a number which swells to over 100,000 in the beautiful summer months up north. F is for fun. Year-round, there is no shortage of outdoor activities for you and your family. You will not find cleaner water, more dense forests, more beautiful sunsets, bigger ski hills or fluffier snow, more immaculate bike trails, expansive beaches or prettier fishing lakes anywhere in the Midwest than in Northwest Michigan. Phew! G is for Good Heart. Good Heart, Michigan is one of the Midwest's most treasured resort areas. Nestled along the shores of Lake Michigan and atop a dramatic bluff that spans miles and miles, Good Heart boasts beautiful beaches, amazing landscapes, and the best sunsets outside of Key West. Stop in at the authentic 1934 General Store to find a U.S. post office, deli, bakery, real estate office, and plenty of chit chat about local lore. H is for the one and only Harbor Springs. Harbor Springs sits on the deepest harbor in Lake Michigan, and surrounding that harbor are the homes of generations of resorters who head north each summer to spend it in glorious Harbor Springs. There are shops and galleries here you won't find anywhere else and strolling the sidewalks are the world's most connected families who could choose to be anywhere in the world, and they choose the 49740 zip code. I is for the Inland Waterway. This 38-mile trip starts just outside Petoskey in Pickerel Lake, and it is a stunning stretch of fresh water that is a favorite boat trip, kayak adventure, or leisurely pontoon excursion for many, many every year. You'll see Michigan wildlife along the route, lush and colorful wetlands, riverside cottages, and a few of our inland lakes as you make your way out to Lake Huron. J is for Jones Landing on Walloon Lake, a new park made possible by the property's namesake, the Jones family, 
Instead of selling to developers, they chose to work with the local township to create a family beach and park on the most beautiful and storied inland lake anywhere, Walloon Lake. That's the lake where Ernest Hemingway spent his summers with his family when they'd travel north each year from Chicago. It's the place that inspired his writing the most, where he'd canoe and fish and swim. In fact, his family's cottage still stands on the shore here today, secluded from the day-to-day -day life and remaining a legacy to this famous author. Okay, it's for Kilwins, Kilwins World Headquarters in Petoskey. Despite the pressure to move to a larger city as the company continues to grow like gangbusters, the owners of Kilwins Chocolates and Confections are committed to producing their absolutely amazing and delicious chocolates, candies, and ice cream from their facility along the bluff overlooking Little Traverse Bay in Petoskey. It's one beautiful example of the unique retailers who have made a living and a life in Emmett County. L is for lighthouses, and our favorite is McAlpin Point Lighthouse, which has been owned and operated by the county since 2008. In the past several years, it has been refurbished and brought back to period decor inside. Trail and site improvements at the first deeded parcel in Emmett County make the entire historic site a great day trip while preserving a very important piece of our shared past. Plus, you really cannot beat the view of the Mackinac Bridge from atop the tower. And did we mention it's always free? M is for Mackinac City, which is half in Emma County and half in Sheboygan County and wholly unique. Here, history is as important as the future. Its place in Michigan's history is as a gathering place where the Native Americans, French, and British cultures collided centuries ago. Visit Heritage Village, Fort Mackinac, McAlpin Point Lighthouse, Fort Mackinac, the Headlands International Dark Sky Park, and take a ferry ride to historic Mackinac Island, where still no vehicle traffic is allowed. N is for the Northwestern State Trail, the newest paved trail segment that is enhancing Northern Michigan's ever-expanding trail network. This 32-mile trail begins in Petoskey at the Little Traverse Wheelway, and it heads north through the towns of Alanson, Palston, and ultimately to Mackinac City. We like to say this is the only bike trail that has a Dairy Queen right along the route. O is for the Odin Fish Hatchery. Did you know that in this itty bitty spot on the map, Odin, is one of Michigan's most valuable resources? The facility is one of the most advanced fish culture facilities of its kind. It is the brown and rainbow trout broodstock station and is a major rearing facility for those two species. Plus, it's an interpretation center and it's just a really cool place to visit. You can even get creekside into the bank views of the river habitat that lives at the Odin State Fish Hatchery. P is for Petoskey, the county seat and the biggest city within Emmett County, with a year-round population of about 6,000. But don't let that small number fool you. In Petoskey, you will find arts, culture, healthcare, recreation, parks, schools, a downtown, and a myriad of other resources that are delivered on a world-class level. If you don't believe us, read about Petoskey in the New York Times, the Huffington Post, Wall Street Journal, Midwest Living, Outdoor Life, Golf Magazine, the list goes on and on. And did you know that Michigan State Stone is the Petoskey Stone? It's found in abundance up north, a relic from 350 million years ago that keeps washing ashore. Q gets two. The first is quaint. Our eclectic downtowns are full of unique shops, unmatched dining establishments, and longtime merchants who welcome a loyal clientele year after year. Petoskey, Harbor Springs, Mackinac City, and Bay Harbor are all home to these traditional downtowns that add to the landscape of Emmett County in so many ways. And our second cue word is, shh, do you hear all that noise in the background? Yeah, neither do we. Northern Michigan is the epitome of peacefulness, safety, and quiet. R is for our rivers. Emmett County is home to one of the Lower Peninsula's only blue ribbon trout streams, the Maple River, that winds its way through the center of our county. This river is cared for by the many anglers and the tip of the Mitt Watershed Council staff who consistently monitor it for anything that might impede on its beauty and the natural habitat that depends on its cool, swift waters. In total, Emmett County has 10,400 acres of inland waterways and lakes. S is for the Straits of Mackinac, where hundreds of shipwrecks lie beneath. The Straits is the meeting place of Lakes Michigan and Huron at the Mackinac Bridge. Both are spelled with the French C at the end, which sounds like a W. 
And to further confuse things a little bit, the coat, the boat, and the village are all Mackinac's with a W, while Mackinac Island is another C ending. Just a tip from the locals for you. T is for transportation. We are remote, but we are easy to get to, really. We are serviced by Delta Airlines with daily flights to and from Palston Regional Airport, the most cozy, beautiful airport you will ever see. We have ferry boats to Mackinac Island, Interstate 75 at our eastern boundary, the majestic Mackinac Bridge that is fun to just drive over between Michigan's upper and lower peninsulas, and US 131 and 31 that bring traffic up from downstate. Once you're a local, you'll know which one goes to Grand Rapids and which one goes through Charlevoix. Of course, if you're traveling by boat, the Great Lakes are your quickest navigational route. V is for the view. Whether you're driving along the Tunnel of Trees, M119 along the Lake Michigan shoreline north of Harbor, or ogling the Victorian gingerbread cottages in Bayview, there is always, and we mean always, a spectacular view. Try taking a chairlift ride up Boyne Highlands in autumn to behold the fall landscape bursting with color. Ski down in the winter and see the lights across Pleasant View Road at Nubs Knob Ski Resort. Did you notice the name of the road I just mentioned? Walk the rocky shoreline along the Straits of Mackinac and Cecil Bay and watch as mammoth freighters ply the cool Lake Michigan waters. Stop at Sunset Park in Petoskey, overlooking the much photographed brick wall and Petoskey Marina for a circular vantage point taking in all of Little Traverse Bay. Because of our hilly topography, there is always a breathtaking view around the next turn. W is for Wilderness State Park and Wagashans Point, two rustic natural stretches of parkland in the northwestern tip of the county. Wilderness State Park is a 10,500 acre state park in Carp Lake Township on the shores of Lake Michigan. One of the most prominent physical features of the park is Wagashans Point, which juts westward into the lake. Beyond the tip of the point, Temperance Island and Wagashans Island are also parts of the state park. Wagashans Point and the adjacent islands are nesting grounds too for the endangered piping plover. X is for excellence in healthcare. It is nearly unheard of to have a medical center the caliber of McLaren Northern Michigan Hospital in a town of 6,000 people, and a rural area at that. But as you may have noticed, Emmett County is a pretty special place. Here we have doctors and nurses who are so skilled they could practice anywhere in the world, but they want to be in Northern Michigan. So we are incredibly blessed to have medical services that cover cancer and heart care, emergency room, surgical needs, and programs that promote health and wellness throughout our community. Why is for youpers. Many people think that Petoskey and Harbor Springs are in the Upper Peninsula, but we're not. We're right at the tippy top of Michigan's Lower Peninsula. To the Youpers, we're known as trolls. But for the Lower Peninsula, we're as far north as you can get. In fact, Emma County is home to the northernmost point in the Lower Peninsula at McGalvin Point Lighthouse and Historic Site. Z! Z's is for places to sleep after all that fun and exploration we've just taken you through from A to Z. We thought you'd like to know there are many, many, many great hotels, bed and breakfasts, inns and campgrounds all over the county, in our downtowns and across the countryside. We also have a couple Class A motor coach resorts too. So have we worn you out yet? So we've just taken you on a quick Emmett County tour from A to Z. Oops, I see we forgot a letter in there. We forgot you. But fortunately, we can easily fit you in here, into life in beautiful Emmett County. So we hope to see you soon.